Hello, everybody. This is Big Anklevich. I am a writer. <laughs> uh, for reals this time. Um, since the last Anklecast, I think I talked a little bit about how I was starting to do the uh, magic spreadsheet thing, and I did like a couple of days and wrote a, a little bit. Well, since that time, I finished writing the, the rewrite of my 10th album story. That one's all the way done. I don't know if it's any good. I hope that it has some merit. Who knows? Uh, I don't know if I've made it any better than it was originally, but I guess hopefully uh, somebody will read both of them and tell me one way or the other. Uh, secondly, <clears throat> I started a new story. Um, this is an idea that I had no, I had no idea about. I kind of, Saturday morning I was happened to go to get my car registered, going to try and pass the uh, safety and emissions inspections, which of course my car failed both of, but that's beside the point. Um, I went to try and do that and I thought of an idea for a story, and I said, you know what, I'm writing that today. And I took my tablet with me, which has a little keyboard uh, that I can plug it into. And uh, yeah, I just used that and typed up a couple hundred words on the story while I was waiting for the car to uh, be inspected. And then I broke the tablet to pieces when I found out that it failed. No, but I felt like it. I did not actually do that. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's my writing. Um, it's going. I mean, there, I, I have to admit that I haven't been perfect. I think the two days after... No, it wasn't after that. It was later. A couple of days after uh, the ankle cast, I just didn't... Uh, right at all and and I have to admit that I could have I remembered before I went to bed but I was it was as I was going to bed it was like 11 11 30 or something like that and I thought oh I still haven't written I should but screw it and I didn't and I went to bed which is bad it makes me a bad writer <clears throat> but at least I am a writer because I actually wrote some things. Um, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, I've got that idea. I need to work on Sunny and Gray again. You know, that, that one's just kind of going by the wayside. Maybe it'll never happen. I don't know. But I don't want it to never happen. I want it to actually happen. I have too many ideas that I develop and then never write. Um, the daunting thing about Sunny and Gray is that it's going to be long. And I don't know if I have the, the endurance to go the whole way and, and, and write this whole story. Um, uh, otherwise, yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> you may have seen some, uh, some stuff appear in your feed. We finally got another episode out. Um, and that hit uh, last week. And we got some That Gets My Goats that hit as well. And interestingly enough, if you are a person who donates to the show, Rish also did a new episode of the podcast that dares not speak its name. So, you know, he sends those out to people who donate as special gifts to them every now and then when he does them. And he probably does as many episodes um, of that podcast as we do of our regular podcast these days. So, uh, you know, if you want to donate, that's a, an incentive. Another incentive. I mean, there's a hell of a lot of incentives for you to donate. We do incentive episodes that you get when you donate. Rish does these podcasts that dare not speak its name when you donate. Um, and on top of that, I'm actually starting up another thing. I've been working on it. I started working on it last night. It is a <clears throat> Uber feed. I think I called it the omnibus feed. It's 
something I've been thinking about doing for a long time, and then just a little while ago on Facebook, somebody suggested, hey, is there a way we can get all this stuff on one feed? Because that would be easy. And so I thought, you know what? Why not go for forward with that thing? And so I was going to do the Doonstief Omnibus Feed, which will include AnkleCast. It will include That Gets My Goat. It will include the main Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine feed. It will include special extras, such as the incentive episodes and the podcasts that dare not speak their names. Um, <clears throat> it will also include things like when Rish does a story for some other podcast or when I read a story for some other podcast. Um, we will add that to the feed so you can get that without having to go search it out. We'll just put a link to their uh, their story so that way you can download it through us or through them but you've downloaded their file and uh, I think that's how that's supposed to work the whole Creative Commons thing I don't know but anyways I've seen Cory Doctorow put everything he's in on his feed so I'm thinking we could do that and you would just get the whole bit you know if we're on uh, Journey Into where we take over his show and talk like we're New York New Jersey hoodlums uh, you know, that'll be on there. You'll be able to get it all. And I'm going to make it go all the way back to the beginning. Get all this stuff. Hopefully, uh, all the uh, links are still live um, after all this time. But uh, it will be slow. It'll be a while before that is ready. I just started it. And it's funny because I found that we actually do a lot of stuff, despite the fact that not all of them are story episodes. What in the crap is this guy going so slow for? Out of the way, old man! Jeez, oh, it's a truck ahead of him. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> what was I saying before I had my road rage? Uh, oh yeah, it won't be ready for a little while because uh, it takes... Uh, I'm going to have to upload a lot of stuff uh, for it to be available. Um, all in one place. But, I wonder if I even need to do that. Maybe I don't need to do that. I ought to look into that. But I think I want to. Uh, anyways, sorry. Tangent aside. Um, but yeah, it will be uh, cool. And, and oh, the one, that was what I was saying before I had my road rage. The one thing that I did notice is that despite the fact that we don't do a lot of um, episodes of the main show. We do do a lot of episodes. I was looking and, you know, we've only had two episodes of the main show since the new year, sadly, because uh, we didn't get anything out of February at all. <clears throat> but we've had like 17 things all together. A bunch of That Gets My Goats and six episodes of Ankle Cast, which now goes to seven. Um, you know, podcasts that dare not speak its name, so on and so on. There's actually a lot of offerings from the Dune Steve to be had if you're industrious enough to seek them out. And uh, if you donate, you'll eventually get this uh, Uber feed, the omnibus feed, delivered straight to your email address, and you can pop it into iTunes, subscribe to it, and uh, it'll be all just delivered to you without any effort on your part. You won't have to go and search for that. Even the outtakes, that was something that I was going to mention. Even the outtakes, I will make a little entry for each one of those things. Outtakes and all that stuff. You won't even have to go find the outtakes, which sadly I haven't been doing very much of, but I've got them all saved up and I still plan on doing them all. Um, but yeah, the outtakes uh, will be available on the Uber feed too, so Uber feed will be fun. It'll be pretty awesome and easy. Um, but if you don't have the cash to donate, you're not down with that, uh, one thing that is cool 
that have just happened this last week since the last ankle cast went out is that it is now available on iTunes. I submitted the feed, they checked it out, they said, yep, you're golden, and now you can search AnkleCast and you can subscribe to it. I'll, I'll make sure to put a link to the feed, although I'm not even sure I know how to do the link to iTunes feed. Um, there's got to be a way, I'm sure. Uh, so I'll figure that out, and I will put the link into the show notes for this show so that you can subscribe to the ankle cast and get it delivered to you each week the same way that there's a policeman he's waiting for me because my car is still not registered he's gonna pull me over please stay put <sighs> yeah so my my car flunked the tests for the the uh missions and the safety inspection and unfortunately it's expensive crap that's got to be done to my car to get my car up to date so we're still not sure if we're even going to do it um it's going to cost like a thousand bucks to get my car street legal again and uh Although we may be in luck, because it looks like one of the problems may have been more of a winter-related problem, because all of a sudden my check engine light is off. I used to have this problem where I would get into my car, turn the key, and there was some sensor down in there somewhere that was messed up. And it would be like, oh, something's wrong, I can't start, and so it wouldn't start. You'd turn the key and it would do nothing. It, I had power, it's not like I was out of power. I even tried once to have my car jumped when it was doing that. I think I had Rish try and uh, jump start my car and it did absolutely nothing. It made no difference. But, uh, yeah, I, that seems to have just gone away, the engine light thing. I don't know if that was maybe a weather related thing and now that the sensor is warm enough, it is fixed. But in the last two days, all of a sudden my car doesn't do that anymore. And um, so I'm thinking of jamming this car past the place where I got it tested because they said in 15 days, within 15 days, I can have it retested for free. So I'm thinking I'll go there and be like, hey, I fixed this problem. Can you test it again? And then I'll pass that and then it'll just be half of that work that I need to be done because the, the sensor thing was the expensive part. And that was the one thing where I was really saying, oh, there's no way we can do this. We still don't have money for all the rest of it, sadly, but um, much more likely that we can manage that if you know the, if we only have to pay half of the money instead of all 1,000. Unfortunately, I have to get a new window, a new friggin' windshield because it's got a crack in it, and uh, also have to get <clears throat> some deal with the axle on my car fixed because it clicks, and that's against the rules, apparently. But yeah, I could get those things fixed, and maybe I'd be street legal again. I won't have to worry so much if a cop sees that my uh, license is no longer up to date. My registration is out of order. Um, yeah, I kind of worry about doing the podcast, because what, <laughs> what I tend to do is keep an eye in my rearview mirror and look for if there's any cops driving down the freeway behind me. And if I see one, I try to make sure that I'm away from where he is so that he will not notice that my <laughs> registration is out of date. Um, so when I'm doing the podcast, I'm, my attention is taken away from that, so it's like much more likely that I might get pulled over. <sighs> I don't know, man. Sometimes life can crush your spirit a little bit. But things are mostly going well. I've been running a, a lot. Um, I've been running five days a week. I ran this morning. I did three miles. Uh, yesterday I did four miles. No, was that yesterday? It was Monday. 
not yesterday. Yesterday I did three miles as well. Monday I did four miles. Saturday I'm planning on doing four miles again. And then next Saturday I'm going all the way up to five, which is a mile more than I've ever done. Uh, so yeah, I'm progressing my way towards a marathon. Um, a project that I just started, well I've been doing it all along, but I just started putting it together this week is I've been taking my camera with me when I go running and then I just set it up like on a fence post or something like that or just on the sidewalk or whatever I just kind of set it up so that I can get a shot of myself running I put on put it in video mode you know and, and start recording and then I go and I run past it and I've been collecting a shot a day the whole of this year since I started running, which sadly was in February, I didn't do any running in January. Um, I was busy gaining weight back then. Uh, but yeah, in February I started running and I started taking uh, video of myself doing it. And uh, my goal this year with running is to run 500 miles, or 500 miles in the year. Now, so far, let's see, as of today, I believe I am at 44 miles. So I got a long ways to go, but what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting together a, like a YouTube video of myself doing running. I've got, you know, it, it, it cuts from day to day and the, the mileage counts up and it's got awesome NFL films music behind it and it's really cool. I started putting it together just so that I could know like what kind of shot I might need the next day. Um, so you know, if I know I needed a short one or if I needed a long one or whatever. Uh, the one thing that I worry about is how many shots will I need because I don't know how many days it's going to take me to get to 100 miles. Um, maybe I should plan it out or something, write down how many I'm going to run every day so that I will know. But, uh, yeah, um, so I don't know uh, how long it's going to take, so I don't know how many shots I will need, and I don't know how much time I have left. I may have to adjust it once I'm all done, but I've been building it as I went along now. I, I put it all together, and then each day as I run a little bit more, I'm bringing in the video and adding it to the movie. And uh, it's fun. It, it's funny because it's super inspiring. Every day I put open this thing up and I just watch it. And it's only like 25 seconds long right now, so it's not anything special. But uh, yeah, I'll just put it in and I just watch it. And I'll watch it like 10 times and I just get inspired. It makes me want to run more so that actually makes me want to run like more often even. I feel like I should run six days a week instead of just five so that I can have more shots and I could finish this movie sooner and be able to put it up. But uh, eventually you'll be able to see my running video. I'm doing one for the first 100 miles, and then I'm gonna do another one for 250, and I'm gonna do another one for 500. And uh, I'm actually considering maybe doing a couple others. We'll have to see how that works, but I'm thinking I may do one for my half marathon and one for my marathon as well, instead of just including them as one shot or something, I'm not sure. But, uh, but yeah, um, I'm excited, and uh, I'm running, and this whole week also I've been super good with my diet, and I've lost tons of weight, um, which of course I had tons to lose, so I don't know if it means a whole lot. But I weighed 265 um, on Monday, which was 10 days ago. I weighed 254 today, right before I got in the shower, I stepped on the scale and I was 254. So that means I've lost 11 pounds in 10 days. So I think that's pretty good. I'm trying to keep it up because I think I may be winning my contest again with that, uh, with that. Uh, success that I had. So, <clears throat> so that's what's going on in the life of Big Anklevich. Um, some things are good, some things are bad. You take the good and you take the bad. 
take them both and then you have the facts of life so I guess that's what I have facts of life um, so yeah uh, thanks for listening to the show again and uh, I will see you guys again next week I'm Vigankovich I am a writer your mountain is waiting so get on your way <laughs>